Hello everybody, welcome! Well, today we're playing uh, Pokemon Legends of Arceus. Uh, I've never played this game. Uh, this is my first time. I will be experiencing everything for the first time. My reactions are genuine. I am actually this dumb. I'm not, I'm not baiting it out. I am a little under the weather. I'm sorry if that, uh, if that makes you a little upset listening. Oh, I thought this said, oh, do I gotta read this? Uh-oh. Hold on. Welcome to the realm located beyond both space and time. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Oh my god, we beat the game. We're already here. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Holy, forget talking to a professor. That's Dawn. That's straight up just Dawn. Um... Yeah, let's go with Dawn. Why not? Let's get a Piplup. Let's chill out. What is thy name? Uh... We're going to go? Oh, ooh, what if I don't... Look, it's not Dawn, it's actually Dusk. Holy... Ain't that something? That's good, Dusk. That's gonna be really confusing if they start talking about days. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. Why is he talking like this? <laughs> a world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Uh-oh. Port thy explosion. Dusk. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Oh my god, we gotta catch all Pokemon? All of the Pokemon in the Pokedex? Or like... All the Pokemon... ever. I don't know how this game works. Whoa. Am I getting sent back in time? Not my, not my phone. I have a Digimon phone case. What's he doing with the phone though? Oh, he's making a Pokédex. This is cute. That's interesting. That's cute. I'm I'm interested. You got me. Holy. Wait. Oh my. Oh, don't wake up, won't you? Do wake up, won't you? <gasps> what? Already? Are you alive, my girl? Why is he looking like that? He looks so concerned. He's kind of got the fit on. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who, who are you? I'd like to ask you the same thing. Okay, that still doesn't answer my question. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come on. Come now. Who in the world does that? Me. I got the fit on. <laughs> unusual clothing? Oh yeah. Definitely unusual compared to you with your toboggan on. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance with these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a fair bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No, nowhere. What is his hat, though? Is that what happened to Wulu? So you don't know any anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh, yeah, somehow I guess. I'll be okay. How melodramatic. I fell from the sky and I'm like, oh, I'll be alright. 
I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. <laughs> Let's go, Rowlet. Denaquil. Uh-oh. What did they do to my boy? Oh my, I completely forgot, and I just caught up with these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. Almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you know... Do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I know what a Pokemon is. I got a Pokeball on my shirt. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems you have some... We have some common ground. Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes. And what might your name be? Oh ho! So you're called Dusk. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I am a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon, such as these three, right? Oh! And they hit the feet. They're gone. Oh, Blast and Brother. Oh, bl Blast and Bother. My darling Pokemon, why have you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. If only there was some device that could store them, for instance. Wow, look at this. This is kind of nuts. An open world Pokemon game. It feels like Pokemon... Coliseum? Dark? Darkness? Okay, I'm glad there's a light, otherwise I wouldn't know what direction to go. That was a joke. What? Oh, it's my phone. Oh, it's the Arceus phone. Oh, that's fire. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You're, you feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appears on the screen. I bestow upon thee this Ark phone, and thy mission, seek out all Pokemon. He really is God, ain't he? <laughs> what? I wonder... Would God talk like that if you met him? Like, whatever religion you have, you think he would have that, like, divine tone to him? Or do you think he'd just be like, What's up, man? How you doing? Would, would he not be a reflection of your own thoughts and inner feelings? Alas, another miss. Aha, I'm glad you made... You've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way. But I am not the best. So you have Pokeballs, but you just, you just are not good. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit more about these three first. Okay. That one is Rowlet. Oh, he's so cute. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it takes battle using its sharp feathers. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Cinequil! The fire burning on Cinequil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. <laughs> Fume! Okay. I get it. They picked the cutest Pokemon. I get it. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on water, and it can battle using its shell-like object on its belly. Splish Plash. Is he saying that, or is, the, or is the Pokemon saying that? Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Sorry, sick, sick break. Okay, I'm back. I didn't miss anything, did I? Here you are, my girl, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. I got 50 Pokeballs? What? A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Okay, open world. I get it. 
Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. Glazing, you're glazing them. What's so strange about them, you ask? I didn't. Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to a minuscule size. And that's where the Pokeball comes in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why? The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Thanks. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'll be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite simple. The, though far be it from me to say so, though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skills in this area. You look like you ain't got no self-confidence. That's crazy. Just looking at you. Um, Pokeball- Pokemon can be caught throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down ZR. That's gonna be crazy. I don't know how to use a Switch controller, really. The right stick, adjust aim, release ZR. It's the right one, right? It hits the Pokemon, you're able to catch it. Okay, so that's... Oh my god. I donked them in the head. Wow. You caught a Pokemon. It seems like you have quite a knack for this catching Pokemon business, Dusk. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, it, this is most unusual. I don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the sl You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Nah, you ought to see the Tyranitars we have around here. And don't get me started on the Tysplosions. Right. Aim. It's ZR to aim and ZR to throw. Ooh, lobbed it. Oh, come on. Okay, so it's a little clunky. I see why they give you 50. I like the little celebratory firework. I can hardly believe it, Dusk. You're incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach P Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? What are you talking about, man? Look at the Rowlet! He's in the bush. You know what they say, a Rowlet in the bush is worth two in the hand. Did he get out? Yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Poke Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. I'm trying to hit him from... Where'd he go? Oh! Hey! Hey! Yeah, I like that. Oh, I was about to say, if you didn't get caught again, I'm gonna actually be so upset. Ah, let's see. I'm glad they didn't make me run back to him. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have all of them back. You see, there are three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I've mentioned, they've bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd be com you'd come falling. Okay, but I must say, Dusk, I was taken aback by how you well you use those Pokeballs. How does it you catch Pokemon so ably when only you've just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Yeah, I imagine it's for the plot of the game, dude. Seek out all Pokemon. This is an Argent is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? I'd imagine it's telling me what to do. Okay, this is getting a little bit baby dialogue. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first record of its Pokemon. We in the field like to call such a catalog a Pokédex, as in an index of Pokemon. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But, in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Oh, so you mean me! Oh, I get it. Okay, come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? If you stop calling me that, I do have a name. 
Pokemon, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokédex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out all of your lodgings, uh, find you some proper clothes to fit in. Follow me onward to Jubilee Life Village. The Jubilee, Jubilee. Oh, you mean the big floating cloud in the sky? Yeah, that's been. Like, we don't know why. It's been like that for ages. We don't know why, but it actually appeared as soon as you fell in. Did I forget to mention that? Are those guards? Yeah, keeping a safe, good guardsman. This young lady was a great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. Stoic. Stoic yet stern. Good approach. Nodding your head. Ooh, this place is an actual town! Wow, they did just copy-paste the roofs, though. This way, if you please. Jubilife has come a long way thanks to the fine people of Galaxy Expedition Team. This road we're on is known to the locals as Kanala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet. Is this like this is like when you get the DK uh, class and you come into Orgrimmar and they start yelling at you like you're a freak? Do you know if the professor know that child? We're supposed to talk. Who's that with the professor? Yeah, this is just like that. When you're rolling your new DK through Orgrimmar and they're like demon. You killed my family. We successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Might I ask you wait for me at the canteen? Oh, we're getting some drink. Okay, Professor. <laughs> I see how you roll. God's calling. Do you answer? Dude, he's kind of chill. You know what I'm saying? Shouldn't a god be a reflection of your own personality, thoughts, and opinions, let alone not some prehistoric thing? I mean, this guy knows how to use a phone and program. But he's using C++ to get you these maps in here. <coughs> Wait. Oh, he green. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Thanks. The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Very Japanese. Very Japanese experience there. Who in the world are you and what's this bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. You getting sliced by Pokemon? Hmm. For you to get in here, someone must vouch for you. Is it Professor Lavington? Do you do you two know each other? He's from the region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though. Letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three more of them got away just a while ago. Man, how do you know this? You've been watching them but didn't want to help? Uh, I've been resting up after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thundershock. Or I'd, I would have corralled him for sure, but the Professor, well... Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. But everything will be quite alright now. Dusk is here and agreed to help us with our Pokédex. Oh, are you like the Gary to my Ash? As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just trust any misfit who wanders in from out of the wilderness. I actually fell out of the sky. Thank you very much. Who are you? Assuming this individual can contribute to the survey corps, I'll allow it. Selene. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Selene. Okay. A lot of characters. 
Professor Lavington has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped in, out of his control. And now it seems you would like us to be freed and house you in exchange for going ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Okay. Quite old enough to work for your keep. <laughs> I disagree, but that's okay. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow, we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Aho! A most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. Please, I want to skip. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat, eat alone, thank God. I, I didn't want to go through that again. I didn't want to explain what just happened to somebody else. Aloof, as always, I see. Well, no matter, the rest of us can share a meal and a pleasant conversation then. Yeah. Any old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Okay. Wonderful stuff. Where'd you find the stranger in the first place, Professor? You know of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space <laughs> The one the people call the space time lift? Our new found friend fell right out of it. Was that a joke? Come on now. Come now. I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. That's true. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui, Hisui region? His, Hisu region? Sorry, I had to blow my nose again. Sure, they're all over the place, in the grass, in the forest, in the ocean. Tip to the survey corpse to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. But it's impossible to know what kind of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where dust comes in. She successfully caught three Pokemon. Three in a quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in its earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky we even managed to catch a single wild Pokemon while feeding, fending off their attacks. To be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. The key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Um, leisurely meal outside. A captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi. Slow progress on that Pokédex of yours clearly has a hair on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in our good captain's stress with enough soon eating. Well, I don't. Now have your fill dust. And I think okay, we're just eating. Another one fell out of the sky. Yeah, we get it. I fell out of the sky. We get it. Oh my gosh, the whole day, huh? That's quite a delicious meal indeed. Uh, survey corpse, if I pass the trial. Confidence in my skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Dusk, was it? For tonight at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. Okay, thank you. Do I have to cut down trees or something? Is this Minecraft? That'd be so sick if I actually have to craft. Captain Celine likes like Hisui, Hisu, Hisui, Hisui. In a way, they're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply put on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. Okay, I bid you adieu. Thank you. Sleep tight. Man, this is a long intro. I mean, I get it. I just like being able to move around. Still, people falling from the sky, that's kind of a story. Oh, the ominous space-time rift that's been over top of the village for the last hundred days? Yeah, we're not going to mention that yet. Let me in. Let me in. I want to sleep. Let me in. 
Oh, please not another tutorial. I feel like they're gonna do it to me. Uh, jug is used to store drinking water. It has a lid on. Interesting. Just looks like it could store lots and lots of items in it. Okay, it obviously doesn't want me to do anything yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get in. Never mind. Uh, survey tips. Useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read anytime, simply press the up button on the menu. Handy tips for team members. Don't you wish your toils to be for, do, don't wish your toils to be be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. I got it. I got it. I get it. Thanks. Hmm. Thanks. Save progress. Love that. Sounds good. Rest until tomorrow morning. Yes, I will. Oh, it's a big Sure, it's nothing. I'm sure that happens all the time. The next day. Hey, you in there? You awake? That's some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. Bro, you didn't even want me in your team. Nothing on this side of the room? What about this? Can I take this down? Change outfit. Okay, no, I can't do that yet. What's this? An eye chart? Five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Okay, I agree with that one. Difficulties must be faced head on. Ah. Lovely stones. Someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Agree. A paper lamp seems to use oil as its fuel. Okay. I guess they didn't want to give me new clothes before I went to bed. No, like, uh, nothing to sleep in or anything like that. Rather have me eat food, I guess. Did you sleep alright? I know it's not easy on a stra in a strange new land. I also slept in my clothes, bro. Oh, thank god, I need to blow my nose. Um, what's her name? Shimon? Shinem? We have no new- we have n we have no food for freeloaders. Survival out here is a daily, you know. Okay, I get it. I don't want to talk to these people anymore. They're just making me feel bad about falling out of the sky to save them from their doom or something. I don't know the story yet. This is sick looking. Red carpet. Where'd they get the dye for this? Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What do you think? Ever seen a building this grand before? I am from the 21st century, so yes I have. Wild Pokemon. They, they were everywhere, attacking us from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go f so far afield. But the medical corpse will put you t to rights. Put, put you to rights. Oh, uh... Do, do realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could well die. Out there. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on the trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Okay, buddy. Captain Selene, ma'am. Brought... I brought Dusk. You may enter. Thank you. I don't know who I'm gonna pick. Let's get straight to it. Oh, an Abra? You're so sick. Slain Dion. More like it, because you're... You're near, far, wherever you are. Starly, Bidoof. Okay, whatever. So she wants me to catch three different Pokemon. Trial is simple. Professor won't exaggerate it. Team does not have the means to provide for someone who's taking without giving. Okay. 
She just wants to make sure we're not stupid. Okay, I will lend you one of our Survey Corp satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Thank you. Thank you. Do I get to pick the Cynequil, the Rowlet, or the Oshawott? Uh, that whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the, in the least. I expect you to step in if anything goes awry, Ray. Okay. Please guide me. Pardon, Dusk. Come with me a moment. Oh, this is the moment, huh? Jolly good morning to everyone. Good news, everyone. What did you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokédex and well simply survive in this unforgiving land, Dusk absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokémon, I've just got... I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Yo! Do I get all three of them? Crew! Plish Plash. Why would he make a Plish Plash sound? He's not in water. Go on, Dusk. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off the Pokemon outside the village. Oshawott is very cute. Very dear darling to me. These very dear to me, these darlings. Very d d darling to me, these dears. Uh, well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to choose? Stop calling me that. I got a name. Chauvinistic. He's... Chauvinistic pig. Okay, we can do Cinequil, Rowlet, or Oshawott. Hmm, let's think. I like Cinequil the most, and I also think he's the funniest to pick at the current moment because of the lore that has came out about him that people are freaking out about. So I'll probably pick Cinequil. Let's see. Do you want Cinequil as your first partner? It's not going to tell me anything about it, it's just going to ask me. I thought maybe if I clicked on him... They would give me, like, Cinequil. Ah, a good choice of fire-type Pokemon that evolves at level, you know. Yeah, I'll take them. Go on, Cinequil. Off-rip. It's so cute. Why'd they pick these three? Were they just, like, the fan favorites of those gyms? And with that one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show, I've tucked Cinequil back inside a Pokeball for you, so take it, it's yours. He got a little too close to me there, I didn't like that. You received Cinequil. And the other Pokemon disappeared. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Cool, cool. Flash. Why is he flashing? Look at those two cheer on their pal Cinequil. They're so sweet. Maybe they wanted to help Dusk with a trial. Could well be. They did go for dashing to the village when Dusk fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my own research for now. Oh, I wonder if you can get them. If you can come back to them. What species did she tell you to get? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the obsidian fields. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial. Why do I have like 70 Pokeballs now? These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a treat. As you've already seen. Okay. Let's be off. I'll show you the way. Okay. Okay, so X, we switch to Cinequil, and we switch to the Pokeballs. I do like running around. Oh, gotta go this way. Man, I will say, it does look a little empty out there, doesn't it? A little uninspired up there in the mountains. But that one didn't even generate. The skybox is nice, though. Very artsy. Who's this? Oh, what a curious get-up you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. Shut up. I'm Volo. 
of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard, I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Well, that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? Maybe you stop backhanded complimenting me the moment I meet you, you freak. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I've also heard about the trials you're attempting. Let's have a quick battle for your blood pumping before you head out. You'll know if your, HP, if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. What you got on you? Let's see. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Throw it out. Oh, Hoga B, you're getting smacked. I got a Cynic there, level 5 probably. Probably those Ember. If I get one burn off on you, you're cooked. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Quick attack. No Ember? Okay. Oh, I can move? Come on. Still turn base. Oh, you're cooked. You're cooked. Go. Ho oh, ho ho, critical hit. Easy. Simple as. That's what you get. All your backhanded compliments. Moves, items, use them well and the world will open up to you. Heal them. Thank you. Thank you. New move? It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battles, don't you think? This game... <laughs> That's kind of messed up when you put it like that. And as they gain experience through battles, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Um, okay. You can change moves option. But for people out there who have their own Pokemon, so few people have their Pokemon, if only knew more how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover their little exercise. You already did. You leveled up. Cringe. Here's some potions. Thank you. At least you're being nice now. You can use those Pokemon on Pokemon whenever they need. Might be worn out better. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, Chief. Gotcha, Volo. More like Valdo. Creep. If you can <laughs> put the battle that well, uh, I have a feeling you might be a hand even if it's more catching than battling. Now, to the obsidian fields. Man, you people are really mean. You know that? Let's go collect some items. I hope you make it through this. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Really sounds like it. You're Dusk, right? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of our village. Please take care and come back alive. Hey, that seems like a normal person, huh? Okay, so this is how the map works in this. This is as far as I can zoom out. Okay, missions and requests. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, let's just go to the... Let's go to the obsidian. The obsidian fields. Is it called that? Because there's a bunch of rocks. <laughs> This is our base camp. This is where we start and finish our surveys. Now, remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species, of course. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Curious to see if the professor's stories about you are really true. Oh, professor, something wrong? Maybe you should stop talking about him while he's not here and he wouldn't show up to catch you slipping. Captain Selene got a hold of me after you left. She's impressed upon me, she's in, she impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility of whatever happens to our sudden, on sudden, whatever, whatever happens to us. Uh, Dusk talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors. You'll see. Just let me do it, man. Just let me go do it. Okay, you're on. Okay, cool. Sick. Oh, another talk. Cool. I'm glad they did a cutscene for. I'm glad they let you walk three feet for this. This is Aspiration Hill. A little on the nose. Mm. 
That's pretty good. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon. Keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes at very useful with Pokeballs and targeting. Bidoof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully and let your ball fly, and you ought to be alright. Okay. Since you know so much about this, even though you can't catch more than one Pokemon in a given... So easy. Oh my gosh. Hooked. Holy, I'm so cracked. I got a Bidoof. One Bidoof caught now on the mark. I gotta follow you every time, bro? I can- I know how to walk. Oh look, there's a Starly, the one you, you- There it is, in the distance, you see the Starly? Shut up, this is so stupid. Now Starly here, it's the type to run at the drop of a hat. Oh, you're showing me interactions, okay, I guess. It's a bird. But not to worry, crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. Beat a crouch. Oh, so we're sneaking up on him. But you ran in his direction? Oh, you ran off the side, okay. Assassin's Creed who? Hey, come on. Hey. Come on, you know who it is. Me as a Hecarim in League of Legends. Oh, you don't need to hold down B. You just... Okay. <gasps> What is going- why? It locked on, but below? Okay, that's gonna be obnoxious to deal with. That's a Starly caught too. I admit, I'm impressed. You already know how to catch these things. Why don't you just go do it? Okay. Catch a Shinx. Oh, here we go. There's a Shinx right there. How you throw your partner- how you- how to throw your partner's Pokeball? I already got it. You hit an X and it swaps between it. Yeah. Yeah, we get it. <sighs> yep. Gotcha. Thanks. Okay. Rocks or trees? The Pokemon will hunt berries and things whenever you can. Okay. Okay. Do I have to hit the berry? You up there, man? Come back. Let's get a, uh, let's get a Starly out. Hey, Starly, get this for me. Thanks. Big up, Starly. Thought you were just gonna fly up there and get him, but I guess you could just smack the tree. That's fine. Here's the Shinx. Uh, aggressive disposition. Did you know that already? No. How would I know that? It, we just catch them in the games. Don't worry about it. Just focus on the Pokemon around you. You'll figure it out quick enough. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any balls you throw. Gotcha. Uh, pick the fight with you. Be warned. Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I got a few Pokemon to use. So if you're not sneaky. So, okay. Let's see. Oh, he's already riled up. Gotcha. Get away from me, man. Get away from me. Yeah, go ahead. Check this out, Shanks. I'm gonna use a gust on you. Okay, that didn't do much. Are you not even fighting me, Shanks? Alright, okay, thanks. Uh, not really thank you, sorry. 
Okay, okay, okay. No. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Starly, you're getting whooped out there. We need to... Uh, we need to uh, put somebody in there who stands in front. Okay. Oh, there we go. Ember. Let's go. Pinks is looking around. Can I do the thing now? Because I don't want to kill him. I don't want to make him faint. Simple as that, man. We're back to the basics. What? Did you really? You really? You did it! That's three species of Pokemon caught! You really are some kind of prodigy, bro. They're level three! Oh my god. I still didn't believe the professor's stories. Me, when I go back in time and explain to a caveman how to do a simple addition and multiplication. You're telling me how- you tell me you did this in your head? Oh no, you passed the trial with flying colors. Okay, congratulations, you've taken the first steps towards collecting every Pokemon. This calls for a comm commemorative photo. I didn't open my eyes? That's kind of cute though. <laughs> okay, you gotta report back to the captain. They're not gonna believe this. They'll wait until I show them how many Pokemon I caught. It's more, as a hint, it's more than one, it's less than four. Oh, I don't even know if they have math yet. Hold on. I don't know if they can handle a variable, finding out the variable. Come on now, you two, let's not dilly-dally. Captain Cillian, uh, uh, Celine waits for, Cillian? Celine waits for the report at the headquarters. I know I've already said the name like six times with Celine, but you never know. Sometimes when you read things, it becomes new to you. Also, what happened to all the 50 Pokeballs you gave me at the beginning of the game? Guess I'm gonna get rid of that. Got Pokeballs here? I'm not gonna buy anything yet. I don't have money. They probably don't use money in this primitive world. They probably use rocks. Oh my god. It makes sense now why they were in a jar at home. What's up? What's up, Captain Celine? What's up, Dion? It seems we have to leave you to... It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Okay, buddy. Congratulations, you passed the trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you impressed me. You set high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. Well, how are you in front of me? This is your official uniform for the Survey Corps. Didn't feel like putting a small item in the hand. She just dapped me up and passed it to me. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. I don't like that. I gotta use the mirror in the quarters. Change. They don't know this tech yet. They're a primitive culture. Holy... Can I put that on? Now I'm fitted up. Now I'm looking like dawn. Oh, sorry. Now I'm looking like dusk. Oh, they didn't make me walk back. Thank you. You guys didn't have a bathroom in here for me to change either. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you last you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Thanks, Preesh. 
just your highest level uh, combatant unable to fail. Okay. Who's the commander, though? Hamato. Commander, come on. Look at all these rooms you have, and I could... I couldn't stand here, you telling me? You ever got whole beds and stuff? I don't like it. I don't know if I like the Imperial Core we've created here. I've been waiting for you. Okay. Oh, that's a sick kimono. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Nice mustache and eyebrows. Hmm. Mm. So you're Dusk. Come on, bro. Hmm. Oh my god, he did it again! Erm! He did it! <laughs> I've been briefed on your situation now. You fell from the rift in the sky. Now, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Okay. Charge at him. <laughs> That's so sick. He flipped me, bro. Erm. Erm. You've got vigor. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I see some potential. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone, natural. I wish this is how bosses actually work, though. Come at me. Like, soon as you... <laughs> that's how you get hired? That'd be crazy. I'd, I'd do that every time. I'd skip the resume process. Now, no matter how odd you seem, you're a part of Jubilife Village. That's awesome. I'm glad he's open. I must warn you, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. You guys keep saying this, but they're like cute though. Nice stamp. Nice stamp. Okay, we're all together. Here's the family. So the commander has accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have to no rank at all. Thanks. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed! You see, the more you add to the Pokédex, the higher your rank will become, and working on the Pokédex will also, of course, bring you closer to, towards the goal of yours, to seek out every last Pokémon. Thank you for the seventh time you've explained that. Okay, recipe for crafting, one apricot and one to tumble stone. And 3,000 P as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Nice. Ray, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Oh, get ready for a lesson. Crafting means making items from scratch. That's right. Whatever you need in your survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, you can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. But listen to me prattle on. Let's go... <laughs> that is how he talks. Okay. Yep, we're there. Let's learn how to craft. They don't know that tech. They don't know that tech. Marshawn Lynch who, you know? Well done earning a place at the team. My name is Anth, a local clothier. Taylor, a local tailor. The professor asked that I, I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I hope they do fit. What is this? Everyday kimono and everyday trousers. Thank you. I hope you avail yourself of the village humble shops. Thank you. She's quite fitted up. I will, I will give her that. Got some Bayonetta vibes. Hey, hey, this way to the craft works. Watch this. I'm gonna do some crazy tech. Ready? Oh. There we go. 
instance dialogue. This here is the crafts works. Uh, this is a workbench, craft things, pretty self-explanatory, right? Yeah. When you set up the workbench, I'll supply you the materials, make some Pokeball, call it kit, blah 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. You give them to me because I'm new. Go over there to the workbench, try it out. Okay, thanks. Okay. Holy, look at it. You ready for this? Oh my god, I did it. Oh my gosh. Oh, ho! now that's some fine craftsmanship. I to believe this is your first time stepping up to a workbench, my girl. Call me Dusk! Why are you calling me my girl? Stop it, you're creeping me out, man. Okay. Tell me about the Pokédex. Here you go, here it is, finally. There you go. Okay. I've seen seven. Oshawott, Cyndaquil, Togepi, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Oh, apparently I haven't caught these yet? Or is it in black and white because it's old? Ask with unreported data. Ten. Oh, gotcha. So it's gonna like... Okay. Uh... Plenty of research texts to help the professor complete the Pokédex. Dex, I've got to get going on those myself. Could be, I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research task I could assist you with. Come join me at the Fieldman's Camp whenever you are ready, my good Dusk. Thank you. Getting work on research. Okay. Hey, excuse Beauregard. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldman's camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm, a, I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post. Okay, sure, from all the invaders we have. But I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Okay. A request icon. Gotcha. Here we go, Beauregard. So, there's this Pokemon called Wormpole. Have you ever heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of Wormpole. Well, you see, I haven't. I was having a chat with Professor Laviton, uh, Laventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said the phenomenon was called evolution. Whoa, 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 whoa! We don't want to talk about that. Come on now, we're in Texas. We're not gonna. Our our textbooks won't have that. And so I decided I want to raise a wormhole for myself. Uh. Aren't you... if you catch a Pokemon, could you let me have it? Yeah, I can... yeah, I can give you... Yeah, I... that's weird, he wants a worm pulse so bad. But yeah, I'll... yeah, sure. Yeah, I got you. I got you, man. Okay. Okay. So there's a lot of, like... Okay, does that clear? Does this thing clear now? Okay, so no, it doesn't. So I gotta go do- Oh, look at all these requests. Okay, let's try to get all of them. I wonder what... Newcomer from the sky, survey corpse, compile that Pokédex you're working on. Oh my gosh, if I gotta- Find out all about Starling. Pokémon certainly are terrifying cre- This is like the third time that I've heard the exact same phrase. Yeah, I got you. I'll figure out about Starling. I'll make active. I got you. I'm gonna get a worm pole. I'm gonna get Starly. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we make in these shops. No, you can't even walk into them. Okay. What you got, man? Pikachu Festival mat? Oh my god, a Pikachu Festival mask and Eevee sandals. Uh, let me see if, what the clothing thing looks like. Daffodil. I don't... Oh, oh, this is on the back. No, I don't see anything. Flat cap, indigo... I'm not seeing a difference here. Okay. 
I think it might be because of my, uh, my thing. Oh, that's so sick. Look at all these colors. Look at all these recolors of the same material. Can't blame them. Ooh. These are the whole fit. That's so nice. Sandals. Okay, so it's just sandals. Nothing, nothing interesting. Oh, look at the big glasses. Wow. Such a sucker. Huh? Okay. No, we're leaving. No, no, no. I don't need any of this. Whoops. Yeah, I'm done shopping. Okay, what does this person want? Oh, catch... Figure out everything those ears. How... Hmm. No, I can't recall. I know Shink's ears have odd markings on the inside. But what were they? Let me find out about Shink's, huh? This will keep me up all night. Hey. Aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see one with my own eyes, please! I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall! Okay, buddy. You're a little, you're a little weirdo, huh? Durango. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, what do you... Daguerro. Okay, what do you do, Daguerro? Uh... Arrogant, loving memory of the Pokemon as a photograph? Come in and give it a try. Uh-oh. Okay. So he's just gonna go inside. I'm not gonna follow him. Cool. Anything else to pick up? I thought it was a crammer app. I didn't think that was a little boy standing there. Moo Moo Milk Farms. I don't see any more quests. Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything before I head up. Kind of metagaming here. Okay. Quite a small village. It is quaint though. You don't need a huge place. A pair of Chizu. What's this? Can't even go in here. Thick. I, I, you know, I do like the small, quaint village type deal here. Shrine Guardian, watch over us. What are you doing, Lucille? Various protective charms that come in handy when you're exploring the wild. And you, child, if you're here to, for prayer at the shrine, perhaps my charms may help. Tell me, what is it you wish? Um. Paint less frequently. Lose fewer items. Um, stay in good health. I'll lose fewer items. 3,000? Sure, I'll take it. Kind of weird to sell, uh, your shrine gifts. Tempting Charm R. Uh, tends to be lost before any other item when you faint in fields. This item comes in five different colors. Okay. No, I'm good. No wishes for me. I'm good. Thank you. Took all my money kind of a charlatan move there. Also kind of much. Can, can I climb up the ladder? No? Ooh, it takes points off of that. I really wanted to climb. What is this? Oh my god, is that an egg? Or is those just... I think that's a... Is this clothing for your little Pokemon? What is this? Uh, construction, agriculture... Okay, she doesn't tell me what the signs are. I guess I learned that later. It's okay. Alright, well... Look, I figured out what was going on. I think I'm probably gonna end it for now. We've discovered a lot. How do I save? I forget. One of these buttons. Oh, that might be it. No? Survey tapes. Hmm... Let's see, how... Forget, what was the button? Get out, Starly. What's up, buddy? How do I save? 
Oh, is that the way? Thank you. There's another button I haven't discovered. Gotta be one of these, man. Oh, tech speed fast. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like the tech speed being really fast. Oh, there's a help button up there. How do I get the help? Oh, save. There you go. This is the save. Okay. All right. All right. I got it. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, episode two will come out shortly. I'm sure of it. Um, sorry, I'm sick. Hopefully, on the next one, I'm not as sick. Uh, or, you know, you'll find out. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions, if you have any if you have any corrections on my pronunciation, feel free to tell me. Uh, and I'll see you then. Okay. Bye.